NBC's newest show, The Cape, premieres January 9th, and I had the chance to talk with the show's star, actor David Lyons. Tell me about your character, Vince Faraday. Well, he's essentially a family man, a good man, a, a good cop that was, uh, is working in a very corrupt environment, Palm City, the fictional city of Palm City. He's framed for a crime that he doesn't commit um, and presumed dead by his family and um, society at large. And as a means to redeem himself, to get back to his family, to, to revenge he, the, the crimes that have been set upon him, he takes on the, his son's favourite comic book character in, in order to fight back. All right, well, any good superhero story, we got to have some villains. So tell me about the villain or villains that the Cape is going to face and, and if he has any allies. Absolutely. Well, the villains always make the uh, superhero. And we've got James Frayne uh, of True Blood f uh, fame and Tudors and so on. He's um, turning it up to 11 uh, with his character Chess. He's the evil overlord of Palm City. We've also got Vinnie Jones, um, who plays a, a character called Scales, who is um, basically the hitman, the, the, the badass of, 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 of the series. Mm -hmm. But on my side, we've got the wonderful Max Molini, who's played by Keith David, who's a carnival ringleader, and also Summer Glau's character, Orwell, who's an investigative blogger, essentially, but also has the ability to kick a lot of butt. All right, well, a great a great cast there. So now tell me about the cape itself, the costume. Now, does it have any superpowers? The cape as the character has no superpowers, and the cape itself, it's, it's almost like a character in its own right. Mm -hmm. It um, has the ability to be manipulated in, in such a way that Vince or whoever's wielding it can use it as a weapon and that's what makes this really interesting. He's not wearing a cape because he thinks he's a superhero, he's wearing a cape because it's helping him fight back. So that's where the kind of, um, that's where the, the mythology meets the man and that's um, the, the genesis of the superhero right there. All right, well, it's gotta be a lot of fun to play a superhero. So tell me, growing up, did you have a favorite superhero or to prepare for this role, did you really dive any, into any certain characters or comics? And growing up, I was, it, was, it was a weird one because I was kind of the, the, the kid that didn't necessarily want to be a superhero but ended up be, being one. So <laughs> I'm very, very fortunate in that respect. But as a result of getting the role, I certainly did a lot of um, research, I mean, with, with all the DC and Marvel comics and so on, and uh, in terms of Batman and Spider-Man, Green Hornet and, and, and uh, you know, Green Lantern and all these other ones. There's, there's so much to choose from. I didn't realize the breadth and depth of, of, of the comic book world, but mm -hmm. the mythology and the art and, and the uh, everything that goes on in there is just is, is so fascinating. And likewise, with this show, it's... Uh, an incredibly colorful and expansive world. Comics have sort of taken on a, an appeal, I'd say, in the past few years, broader than just the comic book audience. So how do you think The Cape, the show, is going to appeal to those just outside of comic book fans? Well, in the same way that it appealed to me, because I wasn't one either. Mm -hmm. um, but this one, this show has got a, a, so much heart. It's grounded in reality in that it's one man that's had everything taken away from him and all he has is the hope uh, and and the drive to mm -hmm. survive so at the very heart of this story it's not a colorful co comic book it's about one man and his family and his yearning to get back to his family mm -hmm. and so I think from there the world expands so broadly um, so I think that anyone who's not into comic books has, has a real handhold and a, or a foothold to get into this, into this show, which is, you know, why, as I say, I, that's why I picked up the script and went, this is good, because it bridges that, that divide. Catch the two-hour series premiere of The Cape Sunday, January 9th at 9 p.m. on Channel 11. For WPXI.com, I'm Jessica Farah.